friends this is shivalika and i am here to tell you about the endocrine system so according to our syllabus of class 10th icsc we have four glands to study and that are the adrenal gland the pancreas gland the pituitary gland and the thyroid gland so we are going to study about these four gland in detail and about the diseases which occur due to the hypersecretion or hyposecretion of the hormones secreted by these four glands so let us begin need for the regulation of the body activities so as we know that the activities in our body are highly complex and they need to be regulated that every activity take place at a proper time and in a correct sequence like for example the gastric juice the bile juice and the pancreatic juice should be poured into the food canal only when the food is present in it otherwise there should be no secretion of these three juices and uh, now we are going to study about the differences between the hormonal control and the nervous control differences between the hormonal control and the nervous control here are the seven differences you may go through it by pausing the video you may go through these all seven points and you should basically focus on the point number 5 of both the control and point number 7 of the both control point number 5 is like can affect the growth and cannot affect the growth because hormonal control has the hormone growth hormone named as growth hormone therefore it affects the growth and uh, in hormonal control cannot be modified by learning from previous experiences and nervous can be modified to some extent by learning from previous experiences because it has reflexes reflexes ki wajah se ye yahan pe डिफरेंस बना है नो लेट एस नो वॉट इज हॉर्मोन्स सो हॉर्मोन्स आर दी सिक्रीशन फ्रॉम स्पेसिफिक सेल्स और ग्लैंड इन द बॉडी एंड आर कैरिड टू ऑल पार्ट थ्रू ब्लड्स बट देर इफेक्ट इज पोर्ट इन वन और मोर स्पेसिफिक पार्ट दैट इज द टारगेट ऑर्गन सो मोस्ट ऑफ द हॉर्मोन्स आर सिक्रीटेड बाई स्पेशल ग्लैंड नेम एज द एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड विच मीन्स सिक्रीट इंटरनली एंड आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज डकलेस ग्लैंड because their secretions are poured directly into the blood and not through any special gland ducts exocrine glands are the duct glands because they have ducts they doesn't pour uh, directly into the blood they pour secretion through a duct therefore this is the major difference between the endocrine and the exocrine so let us come to know about the general properties of the hormones as we know that the endocrine gland secretes hormones which directly goes into the blood these hormones regulate the physiological process by the chemical means as they affect enzyme systems of the body they act on the target organs or cells usually the cells which are away from their sources hormones produced in one species usually show similar influence in other species they are produced in very small quantities as they are the biologically very active chemically some hormones are peptidized where are which are water soluble or are amines now their axis or deficiency both may lead to major or the very serious consequences hormones are not stored in body and are secreted from the systems now this was the introduction of the whole chapter in the next video we are going to discuss about the two glands that are the adrenal gland and the pancreas gland and uh, we will be discussing about these two glands in detail and about the axis and the deficiency of the hormones secreted by these glands thank you and please like and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day ahead